everyone, I'm Lily. I'm eight. Today I'm going to read a story. The title of this story is "Where's Albert?" Okay, Squeak Scout, the little Atlas, the Scout Leader. Time to go on our big cave trip. The Squeak Scout cheered. Agnes counted ten to make sure all ten scouts were there. One, two, three, four, five. She counted six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, I only count nine tail. Where's Albert? Our sister wanted rain to find him. Come on, Albert, she said. Everyone is ready here. I'm waiting for Flash to catch up. Albert explained. You're you're bringing Flash on the camper. Wanda looked at the pet snail. I'm not sure snail like to hide. Hmm, Albert frowned. Maybe you're right. He took Flash back inside. Ta-da! Albert came back out. Problem solved. Flash can ride in my red wagon, so he doesn't have to hide. What are Albert's scurry to join the other squeak scout? Agnes counted tails again. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mice. Albert added, and one snail. Agnes led them off to the wood. Scamper along, Scout, she said. We have a long way to go. The squeak scout marched uphill and down. After a while, they stopped beside a tree. I'm hungry enough to eat a chipmunk, Charlie said. Agnes said, "How about cheesy puffs instead?" Charlie made two. Agnes got two cheesy puffs to each of the ten scouts. Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. She stopped. I still have two left. Where's Albert? Up here, Albert called, dangling from a bush. I'm getting flashes now. Snail don't eat cheesy pop, you know. Albert dropped to the ground, handing him the last two cheesy cheesy puff. Agnes counted again: two, four, six, eight. Ten, twelve, fourteen, eighteen, twenty. Two cheese puff per scout. Albert said, "And two delicious leaf for Flash." At last, the Squeak Scouts reached their campsite. I'm gonna show them how to set up their tent. Give you ten pigs, so your tent blow, don't blow away," she said. Five pigs for every tent. Agnes counted by five as she handed out the pig. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Forty-five. She held up the last five pigs. Where is Albert now? Albert poked his head out from a fallen tent. I can't make my tent stand up, he said. Albert, where are your tent poles? Wanda asked. Tent poles? Albert asked. Uh oh, Wanda groaned. 
You didn't pack your tape, Paul. Sure, I packed them. Oliver said, but the wagon felt so heavy going up that hill. I tossed a few things out. I was going to pick everything back on up on the way home. But we can both squeeze into my tent, Wanda told Arbor. But Flash will have to sleep outside. Flash doesn't need a tent, Arbor said. He bought his whole house. Time to build a bonfire, Agnes announced. She told the scout to go in the woods and find dry twigs. If every scout can carry back ten twigs, We'll have a nice big bonfire. She looked at Arbor. Every scout, okay? As the scouts returned with their powerful of tick, Agnes counted by ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Oh no, not again! Where's Albert? All oh, this Greek scout tourist. Right here! Albert said, Albert dropped his load of tricks. Here's nine. Nine? Agnes said. But Albert ran back in the wood. And here's the tent. Albert puffed and Flash picked it up. Good thing we had the wagon, huh? I'm gonna count it again by ten. This time all the scouts join in. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. As they sat around the fire, Agnes handed out the Squeak Scat songbook. One, two, three, four, five. She counted six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Albert finished and he took the last songbook. Don't worry, Flash and I can share. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.